afternoon everyone. This will be my uh, video lecture in CBN. Today is December 7, 2022. It's a Wednesday afternoon and we resume our uh, discussion on the uh, chameleon, on chameleon values and worms. And today we start a new topic which is Unit 5 or Chapter 5 of the book which is entitled on shared values no? <clears throat> okay so we start a new topic today which is unit 5 or chapter 5 which discusses on shared values now before i start my lecture of course i'd like to express my gratitude to all who supported and uh, <clears throat> extended their help you know, in one way or another to uh, the success of the G4, you know, the Galicayo Festival of Rosaries Manawag, which, uh, of course, we have mounted several activities. Namely, the first was Miss Galicayo Camilana 2023, and the second is Pangasinan Singing Idol 2023, and, of course, the Quiz Show 2022. You know? Uh, I would like to extend my thanks to my NSTP and CBN Plus for helping the events to be very orderly and methodical so we were able to uh, hold the events successfully. Okay, thank you very much to all of you. And that is, of course, we will always remember your efforts in helping the foundation come up with uh, very good with very good shows and also cultural events that are needed in our community okay so we start I start my lesson on shared values because we were able to finish already <laughs> chapter 4 last time no so again no matter how busy we are uh, we still have to focus on the academics, no? We should not forget that these events or these activities that you have are actually uh, are actually platforms, no? For you to be able to showcase your talents and also your skills, no? Okay, let me start with shared values now. <coughs> on shared values, no? So when we talk of shared values, of course we are talking about the shared values of the chameleons, no? no? Because we belong to an institution run by chameleons, no? By the order, the order of St. Camillus or the order of the ministers. If you see the priests with this initials, ministers of the infirm, no? So we belong to the order of the ministers of the infirm. Okay? So if you see these initials in the priest, in the uh, uh, name of the priest, it, it is known as ministers of the infirm. Now, what do you understand by shared values? Of course, everything that I will be discussing today <coughs> is already laid out in your book. No? So when we say shared values, of course, we are talking about values. No? We are talking about practices, about policies. No? <coughs> and what is the intention of these values? practices and policies well the intent or the intention of course is to what enhance no <laughs> the image uh, the image what else the competitiveness So it will enhance the image, competitiveness, and of course the productivity. No? Productivity of of what? Of an institution like St. Camillus. No? 
So the purpose of shared values would be to enhance the image, the competitiveness, and productivity of an institution. Well, of course, it's not only that. No? Although these shared values are values, practices, and policies that enhance the image, competitiveness, and productivity of an institution, uh, there is the objective. While we identify, no? Identify what? Identify, address, and solve. What are we going to solve? Social and economic issues. No? Economic issues. So I repeat, when we define shared values, there these are actually values, practices, and policies that are intended to enhance the image, the competitiveness, and the productivity of an institution. No? <clears throat> With the objective of what? Identifying, addressing, and solving social and economic issues. So, always, when we talk of shared values, there is an economic value. There is an economic value and also the social impact. No? The so social impact that will be, that will result from the shared values. Clear? Remember that when we talk of shared values again, I repeat, there should be an economic value to the institution and there is the social impact that will be created therefrom. Okay? Clear now? So again, when we talk of shared values, there is the social dimension. No? When we talk of this, when we talk of social dimension, when we talk of social dimension, we talk about relationships. Relationships of what? Relationships of what? Talk of people. No? People in the organization, its assets, its products, its services, what else? Uh, systems and facilities. No? So when we talk of the social dimension of the institution, we are talking of the relationships or relationship of people, of assets, of products, of services, of systems and facilities of an organization with reference to or in relation to what? Because we are talking of social in relation to an institution's external stakeholders. <coughs> stakeholders. So I repeat, no? when we talk of the social dimension of an institution, we are talking about relationships. No? Whose relationships? No? Relationships of people, of assets, of products, of services, of systems, of facilities of the institution, no? In reference to its external stakeholders, no? So there is a relationship of all these components to the ex external stakeholders. And who are the external stakeholders? Well, well, who are the external ex stakeholders that we call? Well, we talk about customers, we talk about suppliers, we talk about the government, <coughs> we talk about other stakeholders. No? So these are the external stakeholders that we call. No? Remember that? When we talk of the social dimension of an institution, we are talking of the relationship, not of that institution, with respect to its what? 
uh, people, assets, no? product, services, facilities, and systems in relation to these external stakeholders. Clear so far? <laughs> now, in the case of SCCM, which is also an institution, no, we take, for instance, SCCM. No? <clears throat> we take a close look of the shared values of SCCM. Okay? When we talk of this institution, SCCM, it's an educational institution. Of course, what it does, the shared values would be what it does, what it aspires to be, and why does it exist? Why does it exist? Rather, of course, we could find that in the vision, <coughs> mission statements. Diba? Repeat. No? What the institution SCCM is all about, we, you could see that in a vision statement. What it aspires to be in the future, you could find that in the mission statement. Okay? So, vision statement is the reason for its own being. No? What it does. And of course, mission statement would be what it, it, what the institution, what it would like to become, what it would like to become in the future, no? in the future. Well, of course, I, I suppose you have already memorized the vision and mission statements of SCCM. The vision statement is, of course, to transform the Filipino youth as model leaders through education of the heart, mind, and soul. And the vision statement would be to be the most competitive educational institution in Northern Luzon that aims to pursue uh, quality education for global competitiveness. So you see that, no? That is, of course, we we talk about the shared values which we could first find in the vision and mission statements of the institution SCCF. So if you take a look at the vision and mission statements of SCCM, it talks about, of course, this serves, this serves as the general guidelines and direction. No? Serve this statements serve as the general guidelines and directions of SCCM for purposes of decision making. Okay, clear so far? So these statements that I have mentioned, they are actually serving as general guidelines and directions for SCCM for the purpose of making the right decisions to achieve its purpose okay <clears throat> clear now of course shared values when we talk of the shared values do not forget about the three <coughs> three chameleon graces which we have taken up before three chameleon graces bestowed on every chameleon what are those the love I I love again. Knowledge. <clears throat> first is knowledge. Okay? This is the first grace bestowed to each. What is a grace again? It's a gift. So knowledge translated in Latin would be scientia. Huh? Now love would be amor in Latin. No? And then, of course, service would be servitium. Servitium. Okay? Clear? So you have to know all these three graces because the vision and mission statements would always refer to these chameleon graces or chameleon gifts as part and parcel of your development as a human being. No? So in short, all these graces can be manifested by you 
being a chameleon student or being a part of a chameleon institution. Clear so far? Okay. That is why for SCCM, if you will remember, again, part of the shared values would be, of course, what we call the core values. No core values when we talk of the core. No, we talk about the heart or the center of everything. So you remember again the core values that the chameleons um, or SCCM spouses or adopts. Okay, we have the acronym SKILLFUL. No, you still remember that? SKILLFUL. S would pertain to service oriented, of course, service, being a part of one of the chameleon races. No? K would be knowledge driven. Right? You still remember? And of course, knowledge is also part of the chameleon races, the three chameleon races. Then here, I would be innovative. <coughs> and then L would be love centered. No? So you see, all the three chameleon races have been incorporated to the core values of the institution. Then here, L, <coughs> leading by example. Of course, leading by example because in the mission statement, it says to transform the Filipino youth as model leaders. F would be forward-looking, no? meaning we are not static. No? We always search for something new and the latest trends. No? You would be unwavering loyalty. I'd like you to memorize these four values, no, because these are very important. And of course, the final L would be living for God. No, living for God, which is, of course, the first thing that you should do, because this is also one of the chameleon graces by uh, the chameleon grace knowledge. No, knowing God first before anything else. Okay, remember these four values. And of course, the objective, the objective of or objectives of Chameleon Education Brother <coughs> can be encapsulated also through a an acronym. No, it is also encapsulated or it is also reduced through an acronym which is I serve. <coughs> but I serve. <coughs> I would be what we call intellectual growth. Right? Intellectual growth. Then here we have, of course, uh, social growth. Here we have emotional growth. And then here we have resilience from adversities <coughs> from adversities right? so I serve then here of course do not forget values formation values formation because a life without values is a life of no value a life without values is a life of no value and then of course E would be empathy for service. Okay? Clear so far? So these are of course the objectives that we want to achieve. No Objectives. I serve. I repeat intellectual growth. S would be social growth. E would be emotional growth. I would be resilience from adversities. B for values formation. And E empathy of service. So what do you notice? If we are if we are able to attain or we are able to achieve all these objectives, of course, the education at SCCM would be what we call holistic. No? Holistic meaning buong buo. No? Buong buo. Whole. Coming from the word whole. <coughs> now here, if you will notice, what do we develop? How do we develop here? Of course, this represents IQ. No? This one, SQ, 
social quotient, then EQ, then this one, resilience for AQ, the adversity quotient, values formation would of course be spiritual quotient, no? spiritual, because when we talk of values, this is of course the development of spiritual skills, no? empathy for service, of course, this one would be subsumed to what we call EQ. No? Empathy, we have to define this. <coughs> Empathy would be mati isaka. No? That is the definition of empathy. Well, because of the service which is one of the chameleon races. No? <coughs> so if you will notice, what we are developing here in every chameleon student would be an education that is holistic, no buong buo, holistic. That's why we develop what is IQ again. This is academic intelligence. No? We refer to the measure on the comprehension, problem solving. No? <coughs> and then we have what we call the SQ, social quotient otherwise known as what charisma no? because this is of course the measure of uh, how an individual interacts with other people or how he develops relationships networks with other people then we have iq sq then we have eq which is of course very important and this one the other term for eq would be character <coughs> And then finally, we have, no, there's one more EQ, AQ, no, AQ would be uh, fortitude in speaking, fortitude meaning matibay, no, fortitude in spirit, because one of the traits again of a chameleon is of course he is brave, he is courageous, no. And of course, the last one would be the spiritual quotient. And of course, we are talking about here values formation. No? Because a life without values would be a life of no value at all. No? So remember, if you see this, no? it's very holistic. No? Hindi lang siya here. We do not only refer to the mental ability. But even the social quotient, meaning how you relate to other people, we also talk about emotional quotient, how you behave. Uh, this one, when we talk of character, we are talking about the embodiment of an individual. We are talking about what? Of course, virtues. No? All the virtues that an individual should have. No? AQ would be the fortitude in spirit. I told you again, you have to be fierce, no? You have to be resilient, you have to be tenacious, diba? Told you that? And of course for SQ, that is of course we refer to the spiritual, no? The spiritual or values, spiritual potion, we talk about piety, no? Being religious. Okay, clear so far? I think that is all for today. We do not want you to be overburdened with so many things right now. I'd like you to read chapter 5 or unit 5. And of course, you do exercise number 5 also. This will be your assignment. You do exercise number 5. And number one, Roman numeral number one of exercise number five would be to mention five words, no? So I will be mentioning five words today that you have to spell and give the meaning of each word. Okay, are you ready for the first word? The first word would be benevolence. I repeat, word number one would be Benevolence, no? Word number two would be Paltritude. 
Number two is call creature, spell that, and give the meaning. Number three, ecstatic. Number three, ecstatic. Number four would be verbose. Verbose is number four. And then number five would be exhilarating. Number five, exhilarating. Okay? Then, of course, your assignment number seven, uh, assignment number six was the reaction paper for Miss GC 2023 and also reaction paper for uh, PSI, Pangasinan Singing Idol 2023. I'd like to read your reaction paper for the events that we had, no? Miss Galicoy Camillana 2023 and Pangasinan Singing Idol 2023. So that's assignment number six. Assignment number seven will be this. <clears throat> you have to memorize the portrait of a Camilla. I repeat, uh, you have to memorize the portrait of a Camilla. And of course, after memorizing that, you have to answer these questions. If there is something you want to include in the portrait of a Camilla, that's number one, no? If there is something you want to include in the portrait of a chameleon, what would that be and why? No, what would that be and why? Okay? That's Roman numeral number one. Now, Roman numeral number two, explain in your own words the following. No, in your own words, not what I explained. No? <coughs> IQ, that's letter A. B would be EQ. B would be EQ. <clears throat> C would be SQ. SQ. D would be AQ. D would be AQ. And letter E would be another SQ. SQ2. SQ2. Okay? I think that will be all for now as your assignment, so good afternoon again.